has already started pilot delivery mm. from its Karnataka plant. Material has gone out of the country mm. and vendors has accepted those material. Mm. Now, coming back to Assam, it will be a greenfield project. Mm. Tata has already taken over the position of the land parcel. Mm. Uh, people are there on ground. Mm. I believe that within one year, mm. the first production can be rolled out. Mm. Things are, because we had an extensive discussion with Tata team mm. for last almost one year. Mm. So it is not that all of a sudden something has happened. Mm. So we have done good groundwork. Mm. Teams from state government and Tata are completely aligned. Mm. Many clearances has already been given, like environmental clearance, etc. Mm. So I think uh, it will be completed as per the target. All right. So you're saying maybe the production will most likely begin within a, within a year yeah. period. What about the other major investments that you're seeking? Uh, which are the major industries, companies that you're in touch with right now? You see, uh, mostly investment is happening around the... Uh, basically, people are investing where you see some mines are there, some raw materials are there. In Assam, we are strong on petroleum. People are already there. Investment is already coming, like expansion of our ex ex uh, existing refineries. Mm. That is ongoing. We are looking on FUSA technologies. Mm. Now, semiconductor is one. Mm. Within a few months from immediately after the looks of our election, we are going to uh, release our incentive or release going to release our policy on defense based industry mm. so i am in touch with many of the players who are producing atmanirva defense equipments so that is one area where uh, we will be rooting strongly mm. again uh, semiconductor is one part mm. but there are many other area like assembly of mobile telephone etc those are also there mm. so we are in various level of discussion with many players mm. but we want to project assam as a state for future technology mm. whatever has happened on exploring raw material mm. like we have crude so we have refinery mm. so that's one part that part will continue mm. But we want to focus more on FUSA technologies. Okay. So when uh, coming back to semiconductors, what is the kind of incentive uh, from the state government which is going to Tata Group for this plant? Uh, as you know that there is a semiconductor policy by the state central of government. Uh, uh, central government. Then followed by that, there is a semiconductor policy of Gujarat, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Our policy is the best mm -hmm. in that terms. So we are going... Our semiconductor policy says that whatever central government will provide you, mm. will upfront will provide 50% of that immediately in terms of production link incentive, mm. and also we have given land and all other facilities. So Assam was very very aggressive, and at least we want to remain aggressive for a few more years so that we can we we end up setting up a good industrial ecosystem in Assam. Right. So uh, land and concessional rates and strong incentives. Yes, that is there and our policy is better than the policy announced by government of Tamil Nadu, government of Uttar Pradesh and government of Gujarat. Right. Now coming to the defense policy that you're talking about, what's going to be uh, the outlay uh, that you have in mind? I mean, as of now, we are in a very primary stages of discussion. We will come out with a policy. Once the, because you see that government of Uttar Pradesh has policy, government of Andhra Pradesh has policy, government of Telangana has policy, specifically on defense. So we are analyzing those policies and we will come out with a better variation. Mm. And we will try to roll out a red carpet for them. Mm. But again, you have to see that Assam has a particular background. We have come out of insurgency. So people will be slow in responding, mm. but I am sure that we will be able to convince them. Another, another new thing that has happened recently, uh, Government of India has announced is Unnati Scheme, mm. an industrial policy based or centered around Northeast. They have uh, placed 
rupees 10,000 crore immediately, but it can go, go up if we, can, if we get good offer. Mm. So state government policy incentive and central government incentives specifically for North East. Mm. Then central government policy for thematic area. Mm. I think I am looking at all these three aspects mm. and we will come out with a better policy, very, very attractive policy, which will be difficult to say no for no by the industry. Okay. Uh, now, coming back uh, to the political situation in the country, uh, you said that you are expecting 12, at least 12 seats in Assam. Yes. Uh, now, speaking about the national picture, the release of Arvind Kejriwal on interim bail uh, for a short period of time, does this come as a setback to the opposition? He has said that we need to save the country for a, from, from the dictatorship. He has also taken a jibe at the BJP saying there is a 75-year rule. Will the Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi continue as PM after 2025? Uh, first of all, 75-year rule I have not seen. Nobody has communicated us that there is a 75-year rule within BJP. So good, Kejriwal has raised the issue. We are responding it by saying that Narendra Modi will prime minister of this country as long as his health permit. So I see entire Amrit Kal Modi as a prime minister. So that is not in the debate. We did not thought on that line because none in the BJP has thought that this 75 years there is a rule and prime minister will resign. Those were not on our thinking. So these are bizarre thinkings. So I want to tell Mr. Kejriwal that PM is here for a very long, long time than you expect, mm. number one. Number two, Kejriwal release is not set back. Mm. If I would have been in position of Kejriwal, I would, not, I would not have come out on bail. I would have thanked Supreme Court of India. Mm. Thank you very much. But why I will go out on a bail? I cannot meet officers. I cannot go to my office. I cannot sign files. And I have to come back again to Tihar on fast. Mm. I think no self-respected person will accept those conditions. Mm. The very fact that Kejriwal is not the same Kejriwal which you have seen with Anna Hajare. Mm. That is why he has accepted these humiliating bail conditions. Mm. Uh, speaking about uh, the opposition, you said what is the narrative that the opposition has been able to set on the ground? But repeatedly, when the reports that we get and hear from people, uh, poverty, unemployment, and inflation. Now, these are three things which repeatedly come up, up across the country. Would you admit that if elected, the BJP governments have to focus on these three issues in a big what, way? What PM has done in last three, 10 years, except focusing on that, today in state like Assam, people have come out from the poverty circle. You have recently seen Niti Aik report that how people has come out from active poverty cycle. Now inflation is all time low. In a competitive world environment, India's economy is performing much better. So Congress is saying, look, he is not addressing poverty. But actually, if there would have been debate, there would have been narrative they would have created, then people would have said that, look, statistics is speaking something others. Because people are not giving importance to all these their species, so we are not responding. But whenever it needs to be responded, we have strong data. We have strong uh, report from on ground. So when, under which prime minister, so many people have come out of the poverty cycle, where in these pages, at least last 30, 40 years, direct tax collection has gone up to 17%, 18%, 19%. Today, as state minister, I know that our devolution grant is increasing every year by 10 to 20%. This time we got devolution grant more than the budget estimate by 16%. GST collection has gone back, gone above 2 lakhs marks. So what does it symbolize? It doesn't it symbolize a strong economy? And strong economy for whom? This strong economy when GST collection goes up, that it is not, it is not corporate tax. 
it is a tax by the people. That means the consumption capacity has increased because GST rates has not increased. GST rates are stable. But still, you are increasing your collection. Means what? Buoyancy in economy? So, Congress party is not discussing this in a very, very organic way. They will raise this issue here. In the next meeting, they will go to the caste census. In this meeting, they will raise the caste census. In the next meeting, they will go to the inheritance tax. In the next meeting, they will go to personal law. So, where is that coherent aggression from opposition? We want to debate on economy. We want to debate on poverty. We want to debate on development because this is our forte. But what issue you are raising? Pakistan has a tomb bomb. What issue you are raising? I'll do an X-ray of resources. So did you call narrative? That I'll do a caste census followed by I'll X-ray on your resource. Is that narrative you think?